Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining me today. I'm excited to discuss Understanding Boolean Searches, a comprehensive guide to refining your search queries. My name is Heriberto Ramirez, but throughout this presentation, feel free to call me Eddie or Professor Ramirez. And today I will be sharing with you valuable information on how Boolean searches can help you get more accurate and relevant results. So before we dive into the specifics, let's talk about what a Boolean search is. A Boolean search is a type of search query that uses Boolean operators to combine keywords, helping users find more relevant and specific results. And that kind of covers, even though we're not going into great detail, that is why it is important because it allows for the combination of information and input characters in order to create more relevant and specific results. People also tend to ask, how does it improve search efficiency? Boolean searches are important because they greatly improve search efficiency by allowing you to filter out irrelevant information. By the end of this presentation, you'll have a better understanding of how Boolean searches work and how they can be a powerful tool in various contexts, such as job searching, academic research, market analysis, and much, much more. And with that being said, that brings us to our next slide, which I wanna share a quote, which you might not think is immediate, immediately relevant, but let's read it together. Business opportunities are like buses. There's always another one coming. I love this quote because I always like to take it a step further and say not only business opportunities, but opportunities of all levels. So for example, opportunities to learn, learning opportunities, opportunities to explore. There's always more and more opportunities. And I thank you all for being here and taking this opportunity to learn and expand your knowledge base. There's always something else coming. And in this case, I'm glad to be here with you all discovering this next opportunity to learn. So let's dive right in. What are Boolean operators? Very briefly, Boolean searches are based on three primary operators, and, or, and not. These operators allow you to combine search terms in different ways to achieve different results. Let's take a closer look at how each operator and how they work. Now, you'll also see at the very bottom, there are quotation marks. And, I, and for now, you don't have to really know how to use them. We will be covering that a little bit later, but do take note that there are quotation marks, but that will be covered at a later point. Therefore, let's take it one step further and cover the using of the operators. As you can see, the AND operator is used to combine two or more keywords, so the search results must include both terms. For example, if you search for dogs and cats, the results will only include documents or other sources of information that have both dogs and cats within their content. Using the AND operator helps narrow down your search making it especially useful when looking for information that combines multiple concepts. But what about the OR? The OR operator is used to broaden your search results, either or technically allowing either of the specified keywords to be present in the results. For example, if you search for dogs or cats, the results can include documents that mention either dogs or cats or both. The OR operator is helpful when you want to search for multiple related terms or when you're unsure which term is more relevant to your search query. And last but not least, the NOT operator. The NOT operator is used to exclude specified, or in this case, specific keywords from your search results. For example, if you search for dogs, not cats, the results will include documents that mention dogs, 
but exclude any documents that also mentions cats. The not operator is useful when you want to filter out unwanted information or narrow down your search result by eliminating specific terms. The next thing to cover is combining operators. You can also combine multiple Boolean operators in a single search query to further refine your results. Using parentheses, you can group terms together and control the order in which the operators are applied. For example, you can search for dogs or cats and food or diet to find results that discuss either dogs or cats and their food or diet. Combining operators enables you to create complex and highly specific search queries. And don't worry, we will be practicing later. But for now, I just want you to pay attention to how these operators are being used, how they can be combined, and how they can help you get more specific results for the information you need. Now, at this point, we are going to cover additional search modifiers, specifically the quotation marks that you have been seeing throughout the PowerPoint and the asterisk, which is a wild card, but we will get into that right after the quotation marks. Therefore, besides Boolean operators, there are other search modifiers that can help refine your queries. Quotation marks can be used to search for that exact phrase, like dog training tips, or in every other slide, you've noticed that the reason there are quotation marks is because you're searching for that exact phrase. That is why quotation marks will typically be used in most of your search queries. So what about the asterisk? An asterisk can be used as a wild as a wild card to substitute any number of characters within a word, such as train to search for train, training, trainer, and much more. These additional modifiers can help, can help creators and people creating results find more refined results, specific results, and prove helpful as you conduct searches on search engines such as Google or Bing. That will cover a few different Boolean operators and modifiers. So looking at all the information we covered, what are the, benef the benefits of Boolean searches? I think for me, there are three I would like to focus on. One is that this understanding this information will provide you a way to have more focused search results. Next, why else is this important? Well, I feel that in many cases and in many of our lives, we find ourselves in a struggle with time. There's so many things we want to do. There's so many things we want to learn. There's people we want to spend our time with, pets, and loved ones. Understanding how to use Boolean operators and modifiers is going to be saving you time and effort, which I think is priceless and has no value. Next, the thing I want to cover is that I typically find that there's so much information out there, so many different tools, so many different ways in which we can interact with the world. But typically, because there's so many different ways, so many different apps, so many different technological means, we I will say in most cases, don't develop the control over the technology. Sometimes, for example, if we have notifications enabled on our phone, let's say, I would say that we are being controlled by the technology rather, rather than controlling the technology. So part of the reason I do this is because I want you to develop greater control over the technology you use in your life. And one of those are search engines. So one of the benefits that I really want to focus on and drive home is the ability to have greater control over search queries. 
So let's get specific. What are the practical applications? Now we will be covering this a little bit later and I will be using um, some serious examples, some silly examples, but bear with me. I know that one of the things that I get asked a lot is how can this be used when searching for a job? So one of the practical applications is job searching, but that also requires a deeper understanding, which we will be delving into in the next lesson. Now for academic research, you'll see and you'll notice later on that some of these operators are built into the search engines. And in some search engines, such as Google or Bing, and or or not are not automatically there. Now, if this doesn't make perfect sense, don't worry. I will providing live in-depth examples of what I'm referring to. Last and, but, uh, last and but not least, one of the examples that I love to use, uh, or one of the words that I love to use is market analysis. Now, in this case, I will be using a serious example and a funny example, but for now, I want you to know that, th that what we're covering has practical applications in so many different areas of your life. Let's recap then and cover our conclusion. In conclusion, and, I, and here's kind of what I wanna do, is just recap of the Boolean searches and their advantages. Now, I don't wanna to get too into it, but let's just recap it. For the most part, you will be using quotation marks. Well, you, you will be using parentheses and you'll be using and, or, or not, and, even if you want, even if you only watch this lesson, I will already start to encourage you to start applying that information just to see how it affects your search results. Now, if you hang on, I'll see you in the next lesson and eventually I'll be providing you an in-depth demonstration. So this completes the lesson. Stay tuned for the next lesson where we will go into greater depth about the power of Boolean operators.